Dit is Papa Al van de Oikel, Tingo Ik over de Daily Minutes nummer 1404 met een uitzending voor vandaag 8 september 2018. <coughs> Sorry, het is Brutten van Zaterdag. De data is vandaag 8 PSK 1000 bij 1800 hertz, zoals de hele afgelopen week ook 8 PSK 1000 bij 1800 hertz. A large part of this bulletin will be in English. Een flink deel van deze uitzending is in het Engels. Morgen is de ballon voor jacht. Ijs en weder dienen dus al morgen om 1300 uur de ballon weer worden losgelaten vanaf een geheime plek ergens in het land. Je kunt de jacht volgen via PI2 NOS en PI3 UTR. De crossbandrepeater die ook wel transponder wordt genoemd met als uitgang 145 475 is een echte aanrader. Daarnaast zijn de beelden van de camera erg de moeite waard. Die is te ontvangen op 23 centimeter, maar ook via internet. Leuker is het uiteraard om zelf de signalen op te vangen. Maar alle informatie hierover kun je vinden op de site van de Ballonvossenjacht www.ballonvossenjacht.nl Ook op hamnieuws.nl kun je het nodige lezen over de aanstaande jacht. Er is nog wel een belangrijk puntje op het gebied van verkeer. De A27 is dit weekend afgesloten tussen Beeldhoven en Eemnes. Als je vanuit Midden-Nederland start of daar langskomt, moet je zeker van A naar Beter.nl bekijken voor de details. Vanwege de ballon voor Sjecht zal de ochtenduitzending van de Daily Minutes morgen niet doorgaan. The rest of this bulletin will be in English. CQ, CQ, CQ. Calling all radio amateurs and shortwave listeners. This is GP2RS, the news broadcasting service of the Radio Society of Great Britain. It's read to you as usual by G4NJH. The script of this broadcast is available on the RSGB's own website and at gb2rs.podbean.com. Anatel, the Brazilian telecoms regulator, has produced an updated band plan, effective in a couple of months, which releases 60 metres to their amateurs. This is the WRC 15 secondary allocation 5351.5 to 5366.5 kHz, with 25 watts EIRP for Class A operators. In addition, they have been granted another two new bands, 135 kHz with 1 watt EIRP and 472 kHz with 5 watts EIRP, the 180 meter band in Brazil will be expanded from 1850 kilohertz, making it now 1.82 megahertz, and the 80 meter band will become 3.5 to 4 megahertz. The new frequencies are expected to come into operation in the week beginning the 26th of, of November. The September 2018 issue of the South African National Society Amateurs Radio magazine, Radio ZS, reports on the youngsters on the air event, usually known as Yota, that was recently held in South Africa. You can read all about the proceedings by downloading the newsletter from the front page of the SARL website, that's www.sarl.org.za. The RSGB Yota 2018 team posted its experiences of each day at rsgb.org forward slash Yota figures 2018. A build-a-thon is taking place at the National Hamfest in Newark on the 28th and 29th of September. A place costs only £5, which is refunded as an RSGB book voucher if you complete the project on the day. As a bonus, the Hamfest organisers are offering free entry to those who book for the build-a-thon, so the £5 covers entry to the Hamfest as well. The project is a Poldew Kits Red Ruth receiver. Help, technical expertise and all necessary equipment will be provided on the day. Many thanks to the Poldew Kits for their help in providing the kits. Buildathon tickets can be purchased from rsgb.org forward slash hamfest buildathon, all one word. A small team is representing the UK and South Korea for the ARDF World Championships. We're pleased to report that John Marriott, M0OJM, came in third in the M70 Fox Soaring event. Now for DX from 425DX News and other sources. Oliver DK7TX will be active with Sugar Victor 8 stroke call sign between the 9th and 15th of September from the islands of Paxoy, Vido and Ker- Kerkira, Corfu, which all count to IOTA Group EU052. QSL via home call. Harry JG7PSJ will be active as WH0RU from Saipan, which is OC086, between the 12th and 18th of September. He'll be operating CWSSB and Ritty on 40 to 10 metres. QSL via logbook of the world or direct to JG7PSJ. Yacek SB7APW will be active as 3 Whiskey 9 Japan Kilo from Cham Island, AS162, from 15 to the 22nd of September, and then as 3 Whiskey 9 
Japan Kilo Portable from Hoi An in mainland Vietnam between the 22nd and 27th. He'll operate SSB on the 20 to 6 metre bands QSL via Club Log OQRS or via Sugar Peter 5 Alpha Papa Whiskey. Christian OE 3 DEC will be active as 8 Quebec 7 Echo Charlie from the Maldives, ASO 13 between the 14th and 23rd of September, QSL via Club Log OQRS or via his home call, either direct or via the Bureau. Manfred DL5 FAB will be active, active as Fox Yankee Stroke Call, signed from French Guiana, until the 18th of September. He'll be operating CW and FT8 from the Radio Amateur Club de Kourou or the Radio Amateur Club de Kourou, whichever you like, QSL via the Bureau to DL5 FAB, or via EQSL. Now, the radio propagation report compiled by G3SVW, G3YLA and G4BAO. The sun was spotless for most of last week, and no spots are expected to rotate into view over the next few days. This will keep the flux levels low, and working frequencies will remain depressed. Maximum usable frequencies may struggle to include the 18 megs band. Warnings of a rising KP index have been issued, and geomagnetic disturbances may increase as next week progresses. This would bring difficult conditions to the band. It's also expected the unsettled period will continue over this weekend due to the persistence of a negative polarity coronal hole. It's worth monitoring the International Beacon project frequencies, even though solar activity and flux is low. The Venezuelan Beacon YV5B was heard on 14.1 MHz at 2230 UTC. Other DX beacons heard in, d- heard in daytime on that frequency included RR90 in Siberia and VR2B in Hong Kong. Another way to assess propagation conditions is to make routine listening checks of stations operating in continuous service. The mid to lower end of the HF spectrum is well served by the Russian RWM time service stations. These operate close to 5 and 10 megs. Their signal strength and fade characteristics are indicative of propagation conditions. In spite of the doom and gloom regarding the state of the solar cycle and propagation conditions, there are instances of fair to medium DX to be found. These include XV1 in Vietnam, 3B8 Rodriguez Island on 14, around 1400 UTC, and A5 Bhutan on 7 megs at 2330 UTC. Optimism regarding the start of the next cycle may be slightly premature, as everyone is eagerly looking now for definite signs of the beginning. Now for VHF and up, as the season of autumn arrives and early morning mist and fog become part of the daily weather fair, then it's the season for tropo. The coming week will offer some regions of high pressure in the south initially, but perhaps more generally by the end of the week. So add tropo to your operating list and get some activity going in the multi-mode end of the VHF-UHF bands. There will also be some heavy rain showers, particularly over northern Britain this weekend, so there is a chance of some rain scatter on the gigahertz band. The disturbed geomagnetic conditions that are expected this weekend will make it worth checking the K-index on 6 to 2 metre bands for signs of auroral propagation. The moon was at perigee yesterday, its closest approach and declination is still positive until Tuesday, so the early part of next week should be best for EME. Today though, after about 11.30 until moonset, the sun and moon are very close, meaning lots of sun noise in the antenna beam width. The September Epsilon Perseids meteor shower takes place today with the, within the boundaries of the constellation of Perseus. It occurs between the 5th and the 21st of September, with a small peak occurring today. And that's it from the propagation team this week. That's all from me also until next week. Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren via PI2 NOS. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald. Alle mail is welkom op het adres x xdvme Dat is ook te vinden rechts bovenaan de webpagina van de uitzending in www.pa0ete.nl. De Daily Minutes toont iedere dag weer aan de hand van schokkende voorbeelden hoe een hobby mensenlevens kan veranderen. De Daily Minutes kwam tot stand mede dankzij de stichting Scope Hobby Fonds. Mocht deze uitzending om een of andere reden de komende tijd een keer niet doorgaan, dan kun je hem in veel gevallen wel beluisteren via youtubecom ete Dit is Papa Alpha 0 Echo Tango Echo. En microfoon naar retour.